Climate change is one of the most pressing issues of our time, and it's crucial that we understand the science behind it so that we can take action to address it. The main cause of climate change is the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, primarily from the burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, and agriculture. These gases trap heat, leading to a rise in the Earth's temperature. The Earth's temperature is rising at an alarming rate, and the effects of this warming are already being felt around the world. These effects include sea level rise, changes in precipitation patterns, and an increase in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. To address climate change, we must reduce the amount of greenhouse gases being released into the atmosphere. This can be done through a variety of mitigation strategies, such as transitioning to renewable energy sources, improving energy efficiency, and implementing policies to reduce emissions. Climate change is a global issue that requires international cooperation and action from governments, businesses, and individuals. By understanding the science of climate change and the solutions that can be implemented to address it, we can work together to create a more sustainable future for our planet. Let's take action now to address climate change, before it's too late. Causes of Climate Change The primary cause of climate change is the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, primarily carbon dioxide, CO2, methane, and nitrous oxide. These gases trap heat, leading to a rise in the Earth's temperature. Burning of fossil fuels, the burning of coal, oil, and natural gas for energy releases large amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. This is the largest source of human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. Deforestation and agriculture, deforestation, mainly for agriculture and urban expansion, reduces the number of trees which act as carbon sinks and also releases CO2 stored in the trees. Agriculture also contributes to greenhouse gas emissions through the cultivation of crops and the raising of livestock. Industrial processes, industries such as cement, steel, and chemical production also release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Transportation, the burning of fossil fuels for transportation, such as cars and airplanes, also releases large amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere. Land use changes, urbanization, mining, and other land use changes also contribute to climate change by releasing carbon stored in the land and altering the reflectivity of the Earth's surface, which affects the amount of solar energy absorbed by the Earth. Waste management, landfills and waste burning generate methane, a potent greenhouse gas. It's important to note that while human activities are the main cause of climate change, natural processes such as volcanic eruptions, changes in solar radiation, and variations in the Earth's orbit also play a role in the Earth's climate. Climate change has a wide range of impacts on the environment and human society. These impacts can be grouped into several categories. Environmental impacts, climate change can have a significant impact on the Earth's ecosystems, including changes in precipitation patterns, sea level rise, and an increase in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events. These changes can lead to the loss of biodiversity, damage to coral reefs and other ecosystems, and disruptions to the food chain. Economic impacts, climate change can have significant economic impacts, including damage to infrastructure, decreased agricultural productivity, and increased costs for things like insurance and emergency response. Social impacts, climate change can have significant social impacts, including displacement of people due to sea level rise and extreme weather events, increased health risks due to heat waves and air pollution, and increased competition for resources like water. Health impacts, climate change can have significant health impacts, including heat-related illness, respiratory problems, and the spread of disease through insect and animal vectors. Cultural impacts, climate change can have significant cultural impacts, including the loss of traditional way of life and cultural heritage that are closely tied to specific environments. It's important to note that the impacts of climate change are not evenly distributed in marginalized communities, such as low-income communities, indigenous peoples, and communities of color, are disproportionately affected. 
Solutions to address climate change can be divided into two main categories, mitigation and adaptation. Mitigation. Mitigation refers to efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and slow the pace of global warming. This can include transitioning to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and hydropower, improving energy efficiency in buildings and industry, implementing carbon pricing mechanisms such as carbon taxes or cap and trade systems, promoting sustainable land use practices such as reforestation and afforestation, investing in research and development of clean energy technology, implementation of carbon capture and storage techniques, encourage energy conservation and lifestyle changes, Adaptation. Adaptation refers to efforts to prepare for and cope with the impacts of climate change that are already happening or are projected to occur. This can include building sea walls and other coastal protection measures to protect against sea level rise, developing drought-resistant crops and improving irrigation systems, creating early warning systems for extreme weather events such as heat waves and storms, Developing plans and policies to address the specific vulnerabilities of marginalized communities. Building more resilient infrastructure. Encourage sustainable urban planning. It's important to note that mitigation and adaptation are not mutually exclusive, and a comprehensive approach that includes both is necessary to address the full range of impacts of climate change. Additionally, it's important to ensure that solutions are equitable and do not disproportionately burden marginalized communities. Call to action. Number one, join the movement to transition to renewable energy by contacting your local representatives and urging them to support clean energy policies. Number two, reduce your own carbon footprint by switching to a plant-based diet, using public transportation, and conserving energy at home. Number three, support organizations that are working to address climate change by making a donation or volunteering your time. Number four, educate yourself and others about the science of climate change and the solutions that can be implemented to address it. Number five, take action now to reduce your carbon footprint, support clean energy policies and demand action from your government. Every small step counts. In conclusion, Climate change is a complex and pressing issue that requires immediate action to address. The main cause of climate change is the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, primarily from human activities such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and agriculture. The impacts of climate change are wide-ranging and can affect the environment, economy, social stability, health, and cultural heritage. To address this problem, it is important to implement both mitigation and adaptation strategies. Mitigation strategies aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and slow the pace of global warming. Adaptation strategies aim to prepare for and cope with the impacts of climate change that are already happening or are projected to occur. It is important to ensure that these solutions are equitable and do not disproportionately burden marginalized communities. Addressing climate change requires international cooperation, as well as action from governments, businesses, and individuals. By understanding the science of climate change and the solutions that can be implemented to address it, we can work together to create a more sustainable future for our planet.